Hello students, welcome back. Let us take a look at one more topic related to parallel lines, that is lines parallel to the same line. We have a theorem which we will take a look at uh, after I uh, describe this section to you. So let's say I have three lines. and a transversal. I'll name my lines AB, CD, PQ and this transversal as RS. Now AB is parallel to CD. Okay and AB is uh, and CD is parallel to PQ. So we need to check whether what is the relationship between these three lines taken together. So first of all since AB is parallel to CD, we have, uh, I'll mark the point of intersection as O, M and N, right. So since AB is parallel to CD, I have angle ROB equal to angle OMD, why because they are corresponding angles. So I'm going to say AB is parallel to CD. Therefore, angle ROB is equal to angle OMD. Why? They are corresponding angles of parallel lines. Correct? Also, CD is parallel to PQ. Therefore, what can I say about this angle and this angle? That this angle is equal to this angle, correct? CD is parallel to PQ. Therefore, I have angle CMD, sorry, angle OMD equal to angle MNQ, correct? Again, the same reason. I will mark this statement as 1 and I will mark this statement as 2. What do you see? We have OMD equal for these two angles. OMD is equal to ROB and OMD is equal to MNQ. Therefore, according to Euclid's geometry, what can we say that equals that are equal to the same thing are equal. Therefore, from 1 and 2, what do I get? Angle ROB is equal to angle MNQ. So where is my ROB? This is my ROB and my MNQ is this. But these are a pair of corresponding angles, right? Corresponding angles for which line? AB and PQ. For lines a, B and P, Q. Therefore, by corresponding angle axiom, what can I say? That line A, B is equal to line, uh, is parallel to line P, Q. Therefore, line A, B is parallel to line P, Q. In brackets, corresponding angle axiom. Therefore, what can we say? That line AB, CD and PQ are parallel to each other. Therefore, AB is parallel to CD which is parallel to PQ. And therefore, for this we have a theorem, theorem 6.6. .6. Let me just confirm the theorem number, please wait. Yes, you have theorem 6.6 .6 which states that lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. So here we just learned about two or more, there are 
three lines that is one line more than three lines so this concept can be extended for n number of parallel lines so if you had let's say another four five lines parallel to any one of these line if suppose this line was parallel to ab then you could say that this line is parallel to cd as well as pq if this line was parallel to pq then this line would be parallel to this line this line this line and this line okay so this concept the theorem 6.6 .6, lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other is applicable for all the parallel lines now based on this we will take a look at solved examples in your textbook so i'll just quickly erase the board So this is the diagram that is given. Let's see what is the given and what we need to find. So what is given? PQ is parallel to RS. Angle MXQ is equal to 135 degrees and angle MYR is equal to 40 degrees. We need to find angle x m y. Now we need to find angle x m y. Obviously, there isn't really a method that we see feasible to directly find angle x m y. And since we are talking about lines and angles and uh, parallel lines uh, and transversal, let's draw a line a b parallel to p q, right? So I'll say my construction. Let uh, draw line. AB parallel to PQ. Therefore, from theorem 6.6, .6, that is lines parallel to the same line, what do we have? Line PQ is parallel to AB, which is parallel to RS. Therefore, what do we have? Therefore, AB, uh, sorry, PQ is parallel to AB, which is parallel to RS. Correct? Now, see, if we take into consideration these two parallel lines, which is PQ and AB, this is more like a transversal here. This line is more like a transversal here, right? Looks a little untidy. See this thing. Correct? It looks more like a transversal. So for these two lines, these are a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal. What did we learn about interior angles on the same side of the transversal? That they are supplementary, which means this angle, angle QXM and angle XMB is equal to 180 degrees. Okay. Now, angle QXM is equal to uh, plus angle XMB is equal to 180 degrees. In my brackets, I will write sum of interior angles on same side of transversal. QXM, QXM and XMB right but what is given angle qxm is 135 degrees right so 135 degrees plus angle xmb is equal to angle 180 degrees is equal to 180 degrees correct 
why because given that angle q x m or angle m x q see it is m x q m x q is the same as angle q x m correct. So, given angle m uh, m x q is equal to 135 degrees. So, if you want you can just rewrite this as angle m x q right. So, angle x m b will be 180 degrees minus 135 degrees. Why 180 degrees minus 135 degrees? Because I have taken 135 on my right hand side therefore, it is become negative. So, I get the measure of my angle x m b it is going to be 5 7 minus 3 4 so 45 degrees. So, this angle is how much 45 degrees let us just reconfirm 180 minus 135 45 degrees. So, I got this angle as 45 degrees, but I need to find the measure of this angle right. So, I need to find this angle also right let us see how we find that angle. Now, if you take the two parallel lines a b and r s what do you get this is alternate angles with this in alternate interior angles with this and what have we learnt about alternate interior angles they are equal therefore, this angle also becomes 40 degrees right. So, angle B M Y is equal to angle M Y R correct which is equal to 40 degrees. So, from given and alternate ang alternate interior angles. Correct. So, what is my angle M by R? Now, from 1 and 2, ok, but angle X M Y is equal to angle x m b plus angle m y r why because they are adjacent angles therefore, it is going to be 40 degree uh, 45 degrees plus 40 degrees which is equal to 85 degrees. So, what is your answer going to be answer angle x m y is equal to 85 degrees. So, this was the first solved example or before exercise 6.2 we will take a look at the remaining solved examples and the exercise 6.2 in the forthcoming lectures. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So, subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.